What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit and we're here back on Torque Drift. Back to basics. We're gonna be getting back into Torque Drift on the mobile platform. Like I said, I got some other things with Torque Drift coming here very shortly for you guys. But we are going to get back into it and get more and more videos out with Torque Drift. You guys wanna see it. So we're going to actually open up some crates that we got for our uh, R32. And then when I say back to basics, I'm talking low power, not that high. Basically this R32 with not much power additives and we're gonna go get some tandems get some doors going back to the basics of drifting you know everybody's on these high powered cars and stuff but I seem to have a lot of fun on lower powered cars so we're not getting any good parts or really anything so we're just gonna be running it what we got some more money some more tires we don't need any of those so hopefully we got some good tracks to go and Look, what do we get? We got pro brakes. Oh, we'll take the pro brakes though. Uh, I will put those uh those pro brakes on. Give me some uh give me some pro brakes. Put it on there. There we go. So we are just going to send this R32 where we can. So make sure you guys like and follow this video if you guys want to keep seeing more and follow me on instagram and twitter all of which are in the description box below if you aren't a subscriber to the channel please tap that subscribe button hit the bell notifications if you want the videos right when they first come out where can we go we got drift shifters freestyle we got irwindale and we got the slab freestyle we got jumps all right we're gonna go to irwindale because we can hit up irwindale in the r32 it's gonna be a stretch but uh we're going to try and do the best we can with it with uh, just over 500 some horsepower going against a 400, I say just over 500, almost 6, just almost at a 500 horsepower Corolla, R32, Irwindale, let's do this and get back to drifting basics here in Torque Drift, kick in the third gear, kick it in, kind of run up there. I definitely, oh, definitely love how this R32 handles. I wish I wouldn't have hit the wall. Oh, or hit that wall. I was trying to get too greasy and try and get as close as I can to that wall. Unfortunately, not the cleanest lead, but a lead nonetheless. So hopefully we can get a better chase. But we did get a better lead than... Uh, that man and that Corolla so we're gonna definitely have an advantage going into our chase run a bit of smack of the base and I don't think he's gonna want to go against us I think he's dipped out yeah he dipped out he said nope and he left so we're gonna try to find somebody else and hopefully we don't smack of the base and hit the wall here in our second attempt here on torque drift I feel like the R32 is just revving the engine right now Ooh, another R32. All right, let's do this. See what we can come up with on this one. Kick it in. Feather off the gas, stay off the wall. Just a little wall tap. Much better of a run this time. Kind of feather our way up there. Bring it back in. That is probably the best Irwindale run I've had in a very, very long time. 100K to 98. So this is going to be a good heads up battle. So let's see if we can stay within tandem with this guy. He kind of left us off the line. So we're going to have to cut this short just to suck up to him and try and not do that oh, unfortunately I think that's gonna be the deciding factor in this run he was probably gonna stay on our door so unfortunately we biffed the chase and then we biffed into the wall there ripping the bumpers off that's unfortunate but it happens sadly to say so we're gonna go find oh we did still take the win uh, we still did take the win I gotta change up some uh, suspension settings on this car so we will come back to the track all right so we are back and we're gonna try we didn't really I went I was gonna change some stuff up but I reset my phone another R32 this one's got a full wide body 
and a thousand horsepower. So we are definitely going to be under the power gun with this one. So we need another banger lead in order to uh, keep our hopes and dreams alive of taking a win here on this one. Oh, almost angled straight up to end that combo so we're gonna angle up major there try and cut it back in another solid lead at Herwindale Woo. a little bit better than our last run getting very dicey at the end hundred oh man straight up battle again but unfortunately I don't think we're gonna have the power in order to keep up with this man so let's just see if we can we're able to keep up somewhat there. Try and suck up on the door. I'm trying to muscle my way. Apparently, he may have a lot of power, but he doesn't have a lot of grip, it doesn't look like. Oh, that angle up. Angle stall in it almost messing me up. But we were managed to somewhat stay on his door for a halfway decent chase. So, did we take the win? No, we didn't take the win. Unfortunately not. But, it was a close battle. Uh, we're going to try and do it one more time. Hopefully, we he can uh, get a better chase. And maybe he won't angle stall and cause me to throw it out. You know, GG to him. So, we're going to try and do this one more time. We got we to gotta keep that baller lead run status here at Irwindale. Oh, and that is not going to do it. That is a very bad clutch kick. And caused us to definitely have to double initiate on the wall and I feel like this is going to be a very bad lead run for that man to follow and yep nope that's that's not even it's not even good nope definitely not going to take the win on that one so GG sir see if we can't find one more person to race here and then we're going to change up tracks so you guys want to keep seeing torture let me know down in the comment section down below why are all these cars powerful? I feel like I'm at a deficit right now. A little 500 horsepower, 600 horsepower, 32 going some 1,000 horsepower monsters. Wanted this to go back to basics with some low power drift cars, but unfortunately, everybody's running them high powers. So we're just gonna have to grit the teeth, pedal to the floor, and uh, hope for the best. There we go. Kind of had to bring that back. So definitely been very comfortable in this R32 and it's probably quickly become one of my favorite cars to drive. So we're probably going to keep using this R32 and just keep building it up. 101, 332. So that man's 45. He must have hit the wall. So we're going to take the win on that. We got a win-loss going back and forth. We took a couple wins, took a couple losses. Now this man decided probably to dip out. No, he didn't dip out. Or he's going to dip out. A lot of people seem to quit when they're uh, 20,000 points behind or more. Oh my, that was a bit of a an orthodox initiation and he angled that car out a lot. He must have biffed it in the wall. There it is. I knew there was an accident coming sooner or later because there's no way that on that lead run he would be only at a 44 if he was that up high on the wall. Had it had a major impact and that's what happened. So we did take the win on that. So we're gonna go check the other tracks out. Maybe go to the Japan tracks and get a little uh, less powerful cars. Slab freestyle. We'll go to the jump. Jump's always a fun track. See how the R32 can handle the jump. So if you guys are still playing Torch Drift, what's your new build? What are you working on? Because R32 is what I'm working on. But like I said, we got some other Torch Drift things coming here to the channel that you guys are definitely going to enjoy. Looks like we got a 900 horsepower uh, pro car with no bumper. So let's see what we can accomplish here on the jump with this R32. Jump it in. There we go. Ooh. Kick it back. A nice snowy environment. A little clutch kick there. There's no snow where I live right now, but I'm sure there will be some soon. 
So we gotta kick this this way, run it against the wall. <laughs> Got a pupper squeaking in the mic. And there we go. A nice decent run to uh, get our jumping, you know, R32 in the mix. And 72 to 22. Apparently he did not have a good run. Unfortunately that man's did not. So he's probably gonna dip out. Like I said, a lot of people keep dipping out on me. I usually tend to try and follow unless I'm like way, way behind. And yep, he dipped out. So I think we're going to get one more here today before we end this episode off. So like I said, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All the in the description box below. Everybody's got R32s right now. I feel like the R32 is the new king of cars right now. We're going to see if we can't do another good lead run. Oh, knocking out the clips. Car handles the drift pretty, or the jump pretty well until I over angle that. Oof. But I was able to bring it back, and I'm only on an import angle kit. Don't even have a pro angle kit, but I was able to bring that car back. So that's definitely a testament to this R32. We did miss a couple clips. Hang that out a little bit. Kick it out this way. All right, there we go. So a better run for the second run at the jump section. 87 can we get a tandem in the jumps to a 40 so I feel like he's probably gonna dip out too and if that's the case we'll end this episode here can't really get tandems when nobody really wants to tandem so might be doing some live streams again here on the channel so that we can actually get some doors so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter all of which are found in the description box below and as always I thank you guys for watching I'm Evil Rabbit I'll see you guys on the track